school notices um, thank you for tuning in again um, so this month's video is just a few key winter pieces that I have found well really more sort of autumn and winter because the weather's still so bizarre isn't it we can go out in a winter coat and be in a t-shirt by the end of the day but slightly more towards the winter um, sort of styling today so it's just a few key pieces from some high street favorites like Zara and um, Reese um, a couple of designer pieces thrown in there as well just to give you some inspiration on how you could be styling up your wardrobe this season okay so first item that I wanted to show you a little bit more pricey but it's actually the one I am wearing right now this is a blouse from Reese see if I can get quite close up for you and um, I have paired it today with just some jeans from Zara and um, these are a boot cut jeans I will list everything below um, but I just thought this blouse was really gorgeous you know it sort of fulfills that um, nice top and jeans type of um, outfit for you um, like I say it is a little pricier I think it was about 98 pounds however I have found an alternative to this as well sort of more in a cotton fabric can you see that um, now this was from Mint Velvet but it was actually original price was 79 but it's currently in the sale for 35 and this one is a lot more casual um, in the in the fabric and in the overall look this would be lovely in summertime as well um, essentially it's the same item but the sleeves on this one are absolutely beautiful so I bought this in a size 10 however um, I do need to go down a size it it is showing a little bit too much cleavage there and it's just a little bit too big on my shoulders so I will be going down a size in that one so next up is a real basic um I would say I probably wear a stripy top twice a week at least um I believe it to be a real staple in anybody's wardrobe and this is a great one from Zara it is only 19.99 today I've paired it with these black coated trousers from next they were um, 32 pounds they're really nice and high waisted um, so really flattering especially if you've got a slimmer waist or a similar shape to myself which is sort of more slightly pear shaped um, they've got a really nice thick belt on them and um, I've personally got these myself but I've also bought them for a number of my clients pair with a long trench coat for a modern yet still casual look and paired here with some um, mules but we could easily change those mules for a pair of trainers or even some um, ankle cowboy boots to give an equally casual look but slightly different in the styling. Take the look even further by pairing it with these gorgeous pointed mules from Zara at $49.99 and this beautiful blazer from Reach. The one thing to say about these trousers is that I am five foot three and a bit, um, nearly five foot four, and I have had to have a long in them. And you can see how they're already at an ankle grazer length for me, and that is in the long version. So if you're of average height, I would probably go extra long. And if you're short, I would still go for a regular length rather than a petite length. So the next item to show you is this tank top, um, vest, whatever you want to call them. But this style of jumper is um, very much dominating the shops at the moment. Obviously sleeveless, but given the winter, you could just put a long sleeve top underneath that. I've kept the black trousers on from, or the coated jeans, I should say, from Next. 
and I just wanted to show you a few alternatives to these and um, you can wear it with your collar up like that looks quite nice and sophisticated and um, they also look really nice over a blazer but here are some alternative options the final tank top vest to show you is um, from H&M I think it was only $12.99 but please do check my comments below this video um, where I'll link all the items but this is a great one as well um, I bought this in a size large as I wanted it oversized I almost wanted it flopping over my shoulder slightly because I think it gives quite a nice um, just a bit of a sexy look I suppose again if you feel the cold you could put that under a jumper for an equally nice look and again layer it up with an outer jacket an alternative to the Zara piece this one is from mint velvet it was 79 pounds and um, they often have 15% off so I would wait for that it's a lovely cream um, cowl neck woolen jumper again you could wear this with a long sleeve t-shirt underneath and I've paired it here first of all with a casual coat but you could also pair it with a coat like this from Zara which is a more formal coat change your shoes for maybe a little heel and that's perfect for a supper party or um, going to the pub in the evening. So for anybody who um, follows me regularly on YouTube or um, Instagram, you will know that I'm a really, really big lover of um, tracksuits. Um, and I'm always trying to make tracksuits look really nice so that you can actually leave the house in them. Um, and this one from Anine Bing um, is amazing. It is a higher price point. Um, it's beautifully soft. So Anning Bing is a designer from America. She's very popular, um, particularly at the moment. You will no doubt see all of her stuff on Instagram, on lots of influencers. Um, so I thought I would give some of her stuff a go. Um, and I have to say, despite the higher price tag, I think it's worth it. Um, the jogging pants fit really nicely, although I did get them in a medium but I probably um, I'm going to downsize to a small because they're a little bit big around um, the waist and I like to wear my um, jogging pants with my top tucked in just slightly like that um, but the waistband being a little bit too big doesn't allow for that to actually stay in place um, she does them in various different colours, you can have them with the hood on as well. Um, check the um, comments below for the price but I think it was maybe about 90 um, per, per piece. So definitely more of an investment tracksuit but given that I wear them all the time then um, I think it's a, a good investment for me to make personally um, and here's some ideas of how I would style that tracksuit and actually leave the house in it. I think beautiful jumpsuit um, it's from Reese um, it comes in black and it comes in white the white is really gorgeous as well it's got these lovely shoulder details that are fantastic for balancing out um, a more shapely hip like I have got um, it's got these beautiful sleeves which you can turn up 
like that to be shorter and it's got a lovely boot cut trouser which is always incredibly flattering it's got a little prestard here um, to preserve your modesty and this lovely silk belt now for me this is an absolute perfect example of an evening outfit for a christmas party a work stew even supper around at somebody's house maybe over the Christmas period because it it almost um, looks quite casual as well as looking smart at the same time and that's quite hard for a one-piece outfit to pull off but I really think that this one is super flattering it's £238 so most definitely an investment piece but this is the sort of item that would be in your wardrobe for 10 years plus and will not take. The next item I want to show you is this jumper from Zara. I've paired it with some wide legged trousers. Now the reason I wanted to show you this jumper is because I'm finding a lot of um, my clients aren't necessarily comfortable with a bigger wider trouser and jeans are going that way um, or like maybe like a straight leg jean perhaps is a bit of a compromise but generally we're going away from the really skinny look on the bottom and if I then put a bigger baggier jumper um, with the baggier trousers on the bottom. It seems to be making my clients look and feel a lot bigger. It's a lot more of a younger vibe, younger look to have everything big and baggy. So buying a cropped jumper like this actually helps to showcase the waist and then allow for the bigger um, pants on the bottom especially if you get a pair of trousers like these ones from Zara that have got a good decent wide waistband on. Um, if this jumper for example was bigger and baggier and sort of came down to there you can see how that is not as flattering as something like that. Now I appreciate that um, many people don't like to show off a little skin there or a bit of waist um, but in this jumper in particular I found um, if you go up a size then you do get a little bit of extra length or the other thing to do is if the jumper is a little bit baggier just tuck it in like that and you'll still get the same effect. The jumper tends to work well with any sort of trouser that is high waisted, including these dark indigo jeans from Reese. Pair it with a smarter overcoat like this one from Jigsaw and it will really elevate your look. Next up, something a little bit different. Um, this dress is from Ted Baker. It was £107 um, and that was the outlet price. So I believe it's still on line at 107 as well, but if not, you can get it in sort of a local designer outlet. Um, I really like it. I've paired it with some boots from Mint Velvet. Um, if you can see those just some little sort of scrunch boots um, I've also added this belt but it's a really versatile dress in terms of you could undo the bow have it more out like that you let me just step back here so you can see that Or you could, if you don't like cinching in your waist, that belt is a little bit too long to be honest, but it's the only one that I could grab. Or you could have it as a more floaty number, perhaps pair it with some trainers. I just thought it was quite nice for maybe an autumn day out, add a coat over your shoulders and that would look really, really nice 
to go to lunch to meet friends with, maybe Sunday lunch, something on those lines. So next I wanted to show you this really basic blue and white striped shirt. It's from Zara, it's $19.99. Um, what I'm finding again with some of my clients is that they've got a classic blue and white striped shirt in their wardrobe, but um, it's maybe a really slim fitting, the fabric is quite coarse and it's more the sort of shirt that you would have wore it with a suit back in the 80s as opposed to sort of an oversized really relaxed shirt like this. So this is still a size small but you can see it's really kind of quite nice and roomy on on me um it's a basic stripe as you can see there i have paired it today with these black jeans from zara these jeans again are a fantastic compromise between the wider and straighter leg version that is currently out there at the moment and they're a really good jean to help my clients kind of make that transition away from a skinny jean to a more either relaxed look or like say a cropped or something different away from skinny uh, because they're actually a really slim fitting jean I think they're called the slim split black jean from Zara I will link them below I pair my stripy shirt with a bigger, baggier um, man style of trouser but I always tuck in to make sure that the waistband of the trousers is showing to highlight my smaller waist. If I don't, I do find I look bulkier across the entire outfit. So that's about it for today um, thank you very much for watching if anybody does require any personal styling services or indeed even would like to become a personal stylist and come and train with myself and the team at the Styling Academy then please get in touch thank you